Hi guys, so I love trying out new ways of painting or painting tips and techniques or just generally things that are going to make my sort of painting experience a whole lot easier and a whole lot more fun. And I also like trying out new things that, well, you guys suggest in the comments, so keep them coming guys. So something I've had on my desk for, well, probably about two years now, and that's this tin of strong dip by the Army Painter. It's a, a quick shade, and yeah, so I got it about two years ago when, well, before obviously doing the good old slap chop method, and yeah, this is something I wanted to use, but for some reason, never quite got around to it. So let's get some miniatures sorted, and I can give that a go. So I popped over to my mini factory, and Mr. Modulork as well. As we all know, I absolutely love these green skins. Uh, although, in this video, you'll see me painting some that, well, aren't green. So I'm going to be playing a game soon, and it's Modulorka, and basically it's like Orcs v Orcs. So you get your sort of teams, and yeah, you fight out amongst each other, which is going to be pretty awesome. So I've already done a, a team last week, you may have seen that one. And then this week, obviously I need to print out another team for my mate to play. Uh, it's going to be these guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> they are just absolutely awesome. And obviously the best thing about these guys are very modular. As you can see, they come in parts, which is great, which means you can mix and match them, which is just ideal. So these are 3D printed, and I'm going to be using my GK2. You guys have asked me to do an in-depth video in this, so yes, look out for that soon, guys. I'm going to do sort of like a, well, a little step-by-step -step using your first sort of 3D printer, and how much I like the GK2, and the reasons behind that. And now is a good time to sort of buy one, as they are doing a Halloween special, so you can get a discount, which is pretty awesome. Obviously the printer won't work without resin, and I'm using this tabletop gaming resin by Amara Labs, which is just great, and you'll see me use this quite a lot recently, because I love how it works with miniatures, and the flexibility it gives with miniatures. So yeah, no more sort of like bits breaking off, this has got a little bit of bend to it, which is just great. And say, so I'm using this one litre bottle of Amara Labs, but there is something even better than this one, and that's this. It's a five litre bottle. Um, yeah, I didn't realise you could get some... Uh, resin this large so yeah this is gonna make a shed load of miniatures which is just awesome so yeah I don't see resin I just see miniatures in a well future miniatures in a bottle so this is what I'm gonna be using for today's video and talking obviously miniatures I've well printed out the shed load that I was talking about earlier so yeah I wasn't too sure how I was gonna put this together so I did print out well loads of arms legs um, so the great thing with this is you really can mix and match and obviously a whole variety of weapons in there as well and yeah, these orcs, uh, yeah, you can turn them into sort of cyborgs, which is pretty awesome by giving them sort of different legs, well, or wheels, or tracks, and all sorts, yeah. And yeah, simply a case of obviously gluing all these bits together, and yes, guys, I know I'm saying obviously quite a lot, but obviously you can see what I'm doing on the screen. Um, if you want to turn it into a little game, have a little sip of a drink every time I say it, but uh, probably not, because I'm probably going to say it even more now, but it's on my mind. So yeah, Orcs, um, yeah, I love these chaps, and these ones are just amazing. So nice and big, nice and chunky, and even more so when they're in sort of full plate armour, which is just awesome. Or having the speedier ones in these, uh, well, like tank treads. Um, and so that's why I just love these guys by Mr. Module as well. Yeah, you'll never have two the same, because you really can outfit these so differently. So here's the sort of the team that I've kind of like made up. Um, I may change it a little bit, it's hard to say, as I pretty much made these up so, well, they look great, they look fun to play with, and next week I'm going to be using these chaps to play a game of Modulorka with my mate, and yeah, I can't wait to do that, and I'm going to film it guys, so you're going to be able to see the gameplay, and well, how I get on. And the great thing with the game is you can sort of set each other a set amount of points, um, and then you use the points to be able to sort of decide how many figures you have, as well as what weapons um, that them figures have and, well, any upgrades. And this is what I love about Orcs. Uh, you can turn your Orc into a bit of a cyborg by giving them electrical implants and also like robotic arms, legs, tractors. So yeah, these Orcs really are <laughs> kitbashed um, in such a fun way. And yeah, the gameplay is just awesome. And it's certainly going to be fun, um, yeah, battling Orcs v Orcs. So yeah, they're all ready, they're on their little painting handles, ready to be uh, to painted. Uh, I'm going to keep these fairly simple, but as these are obviously Orcs v Orcs, I need to try and make them sort of stand out from each other. So I am going to be obviously um, painting these as a batch paint, um, obviously it makes it a lot easier. But I'm going to try and incorporate a lot of the same colours in these guys, just so, well, it's easy to distinguish one team from the other. Um, as you can see, copper seems to be the main theme here, 
as there are quite a lot of, uh, well, a lot of mechanical sort of bits and pieces. And uh, for the first time, well, no, maybe not the first time, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, these green skins, well, they're not going to be painted green. Uh, I say, just to help differentiate these orcs between uh, these and the other orcs, or the other team that I've got, uh, yeah, these are going to be the sneaky ones, and these are going to be purple. And yeah, I quite like the purple. Obviously, I'll always prefer green, but uh, yeah, purple doesn't seem too bad at all, which is pretty cool. So, now the fun bit. Um, yeah, trying out this. I say, this has been sitting on my desk for about two years, so I'm not 100% sure if, well... You'll see, you'll see the results soon guys, so stick, stick around for that. And I'm not too sure if they've come out how they should do, or, or not. Maybe you guys can tell me if you've used this stuff before. So it does stay on the tin, do not shake, um, stir. And as you saw there, there was loads of gloopy bits at the bottom. So I gave this a right good stirring until, well, until where there was no, no sort of gloopy bits or thick bits at all. So it did seem well and truly mixed in. And then yeah, as it says on the tin, uh, you dip it. And that is exactly what I did. And, well, um, yeah. <laughs> Again, guys, if you've used this stuff before, let me know how you got on with it. Um, and does it look like this when you first do it? Obviously, once these are dipped, I took them outside and I give them a good old shaking. Because, as you can see, there is quite a lot of, well, excess um, stuff on these. So, yeah, good old shaking. Shook loads of the stuff off. And then it was a case of, well, you have to need to let these dry. So I gave him a good sort of, uh, well, good whole day actually, and yeah, the results, well, you'll be able to see the results in just a second. Don't forget to click on the link down below to find out more about the Modulorca game. Say it's free to download and includes the core rules, the quick start, as well as all the class cards and the war gear cards and yeah, pre-game cards. Basically everything you need to crack on and start having some Orc v Orc fun. There is also a Kickstarter that's going at the moment. Um, and this obviously involves more orcs, different teams, different factions, gangs, whatever you may want to call it. So yeah, go and give that a click and again, check out more of this awesome game and all the lovely miniatures that, uh, well, that you can get and customise. So back to the figures and see how they've come out. And yeah, they've definitely got a good old grimdark styles, plenty of uh, sort of shade going on. Um, the only thing, as you can probably see, these chaps are pretty shiny. Um, I'm not sure if that's because the stuff I've had sitting around for two years or if this is just how they come out. Um, I love the fact, obviously, it does add a lot of sort of shadow to these dudes, but the shininess, uh, maybe not so much. On weapons, awesome, uh, but on skin, yeah, not so much. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you've used the dip in ink and how you got on with it. I say, other than the fact it's shiny, <laughs> this would work really well and really quick. Especially if you're batch painting, so you can just paint the miniatures normally and then, yeah, dip them to give them all the shading and sort of grim dark look you want. But, um, yeah, there you go. Again, it's always good to try new things out, so I might just buy a new tin of the paint just to see if it was because it's, this one's been sitting around, well, for so long. If you haven't already, guys, it'd be great if you could click that like button, um, hit subscribe as well, and turn on notifications. And there's another video on the screen, guys, give that a click. Big shout out and thank you to my lovely patrons for all their support, as well as my monthly sponsors that basically keep me, well, keep me going. So cheers, guys. Okay, guys, you all take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.